Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series in which we go through the vintage inventory that we have here at the jewelry store where I work, and at the end we can pick out, you know, the priority stuff for listing on eBay. Uh, if you haven't already, click subscribe so we can hang out again. I'd love to do this with you again. I'm uploading every Sunday. That's the plan. So uh, you can count on me once a week. But in the meantime, click that little circle icon there with the two robots in love. And it'll take you right to my channel where you're going to find playlists of other hauls that I've done. Um, there's a lot of vid uh, videos there for you to see as well. And, uh, and keep following along with this series. Down in the description box below, there's going to be links for our eBay stores and emails. If you have any questions, please get in contact with me. So today I brought out this display for rings because we ended the last episode with a bunch of rings. And we're going to carry on with a bunch of rings. And it just so happens... That this one holds 12 rings and I have 12 rings sitting over here so let's get into those guys first um, we had some surprises last episode where there was gold where there was diamonds uh, so hopefully we find some more good stuff like that let's get started with this guy right here it's a silver tone and cubic zirconia I've got to the side here of course I've got my trusty diamond tester uh, but this is kind of like reminding me of headlights like this looks like it could be on the front of a motorcycle you know what I mean that's what I think anyway looking on the inside it is marked stir and it has some sort of a maker's mark there or perhaps it's just the size I'm not sure. It's a small size. Anyway, I can't even, I think it's probably like a five. Little tiny guy. All right. You're the first one to join the bleachers. <laughs> Ring bleachers. Am I right? All right. Here's the next one. A bit sparklier, aren't you? That's a pretty cool design, actually, with the three square cut down the middle and then little roundies all around this one over here look they look kind of blue the roundies hey and some in some lights like it let's get closer to the light itself here well I'm not sure if I'm seeing that or not sterling DQ I've seen a few Dairy Queens I don't know if it's Dairy Queen it's not Dairy Queen but I've seen a couple of DQ uh, CZ I don't know what that means or who that is. I don't think I've ever found information out about it. Let's put it with my band. <laughs> I'm always looking to pair something with my band. Uh, this is this is the ring we got engaged and, and married with. I wear my emerald with it just so that it looks like a set every now and then or most of the time. But yeah, right now I'm just rocking my band. But that's really pretty. I like you. You sparkle and I like you. All right, here's another. This has got some really pretty open work, even just under in the band, all the way around the band. Look at that. It's got detail all the way around. And a couple of stones. There's like this, like, what is it? What do you call it? Graduated or angled baguette? Something like that. And then stones in the front, too. There's a lot of detail here. Takori. Takori. Hmm. I've not heard that brand. Here we go. CZ925 China. Takori. Ooh, it's a large size. It's really pretty, isn't it? Oops. I'm trying to zoom out here. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, let's try it with the band. <laughs> Ooh, wow. <laughs> Not bad. I like that, though. It's easy. And silver. Okay, well, here's another CZ and silver, probably, band. 
This is really cool though. It's got these two angle baguettes. And uh, one in the center there. Oh, CA14K DQCZ. 14K again, hey? Thailand. Here's a magnet. That's not it moving, it's just it bouncing around on my hand, but no magnetism. And it says CZ, so I don't think it's worth testing on the tester. It is worth trying with my band. Hmm. Maybe it goes well with this one because of the two side pieces there. Eh, it's okay. All right. It's marked CZ, but I have the diamond tester beside me, so we're going to do it anyway. And of course, there's no reaction. Of course. But, um, so that, it says 14K, but I bet my bottom dollar that it's just 14K plated. That's what I would have to assume. Okay, next is this guy. That's kind of cool. Kind of a cool look. I think that would be a nice one to wear daily. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. Let's see what it says on the inside. Stir again. It looks like the same symbol from uh, just a couple of rings ago is where? Uh, hard to get there. Yeah, I thought it might have been a size. Uh, I don't think it's a size, but I have no idea what the heck it is. <laughs> to be honest. And here's another ring. This is a large size. It's got a little CZ fleur de lis. But it's just this polished sort of dome, almost domed look. And again, it's a China CZ925 China. Interesting. It's a larger size. Put you down there. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some color in here. Well, this one's in rough shape, but it does have some color. The silver is in need of polish big time, but there is opal and peridot and more opal. That's a weird looking chunk of opal. I, I don't know enough about opal, so I'm always nervous when I can't see the edge of the stone to say whether I think it's one thing or the other. This is strange how the color seems in one end of it, but it doesn't look fake to me either, so I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't want to say one way or the other. It's really small in size. That's on my pointer finger. But I like the greens and the blues. And that one can go there. Here's another ring with some color. <laughs> Look at that. Now that's that color. Those colors. They're both rare, I would say, in the gem, in the genuine gem world. Look at that. Oh my god, blue green. Is that supposed to be um alexandrite, like a fake alexandrite? And these look like a tanzanite kind of. They're like this really light bluish purple. It's super pretty. But, you know, I don't think we're going to find Thailand. I don't think we're going to find it's anything 925 on that end. Right? Let's move this. And there's the symbol with it. I don't know. I'm not sure who that would be or if I'll even be able to find out more about it. But here it is on. It is really pretty. Don't get me wrong. 
It is very pretty. I can't quite get it on this finger. Darn knuckles. Ooh, but that's a cool stone. Like right there on the on the uh, bleachers. Let me get my phone in closer. It starts to look blue. More blue than green. Hmm. Kind of cool. Kind of neat. I like that. Oof. Okay. Next, we'll go back to clear. But look at you. Look at that sporkle. I'm going to move this one over. So we have a ring that looks a lot like this in our store genuine diamond and platinum actually and it's been really popular with like the younger demographic that comes in almost every young <laughs> almost every young woman who has come in who is about to be proposed to has been drawn to that marquee ring just a marquee solitaire just like this but real and that's hard to see what do you say? It's another DQ. So I think I'm liking whatever DQ is. UTC 925DQCZ. And on this side, anything? No. Let's look at the stone while we're here, hey? I mean, it's nice, of course. Of course, it's nice. I really like it. It's a popular shape right now. It's an old shape that's, you know, come back around and is cool again and is therefore being sought after by the younger crowd. We had one of these in a Tahitian pearl last episode. So now here we are in just a, a white pearl. 925 China and like a little butterfly symbol in there, I think. But that's pretty. All right, we've almost got our full bleachers here. I've got two spots left and two rings beside me. Look at this. It is in rough shape. Big piece of abalone. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Let's try. Ugh, no. Ugh, no, it's leaving crud everywhere. It's got like some buildup on it, hand lotion or something. Ew. Anyway, 925, right on. I guess you can go on there. Got to have all the spots filled. Now, I didn't mean to save this to the end, but this is my favorite one, I think, out of them all. I have a soft spot for Art Deco designs, and this is screaming it at me. Oh, it is so cool. Right? Am I alone? Do you think that's so cool? Do you think it's gold? Like those little diamonds look like maybe, maybe. Let's take a closer look at the inside. I popped it on and just went straight to the camera. All right. So that's what a C, like a copyright. Maybe if it's a maker's mark, I'm not sure what it is. Uh-huh, 10K. THL. All right, well, let's get the diamond tester on to be, to be sure. I'll put it back on while it warms up again. I love that ring. I think that's awesome. I might have to ask how much I could buy it for. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Hmm? Moissanite. Try a few more here to be sure. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I had it sitting on the um, the prong a bit, I believe. Which will cause it to read it as moissanite instead. It's hard to get the tip just on... Hang on, get this thing off my finger. <laughs> That's making it trickier. I'm going to zoom in a bit here too. It's hard to get the tip of this thing just on the stone only. 
.8. But the fact that it read as diamond on one of them and didn't flip to moissanite is a good sign. What's going on here? Oof, those ones are too small for me to even register. This is a terrible view, I'm sorry. Huh. Well, maybe it is moissanite. I don't know how I would have got a diamond reed on it if it was. Huh, tricky, tricky. See, that one reads straight diamond. And that one too. So I'm, I'm convinced, I have convinced myself that this ring is 10 karat gold with diamond. Um, it's just difficult to test the little stones like that. So there we go. There's our little bleacher of rings. How fun is that? Except for the fact that some of them suck. <laughs> like you. Yeah. You messed up my set here, man. All right. Now we can move on to other business. We've got a pendant from the same bag with um, Peridot and Amethyst in the square cut. Super cool. The Amethyst sticks out the back, which feels like as much as that might feel like it would make it uncomfortable, what it's going to do is make it stand off of your skin slightly and the, the light will be allowed to pour through the stones more. I think that's super pretty. Those are my two favorite colors. Those are my wedding colors right there. And looking for a silver mark, which I don't see, oddly, because I... I would be shocked if it wasn't silver. But yeah, there's that. Little pendant, super cute. Where can you go where you're gonna shine? Good enough. Here's another pendant, not quite as cute to me anyway, but big piece of mother of pearl carved shell with a green rhinestone stuck to the middle of it. And we've got a gold tone, um, I don't know, what do you call it? It's like an enhancer, right? It's, it's going to go onto any strand of beads or pearls to enhance it. It's a pearl enhancer type of bale on there. Yeah. Not the most exciting thing for me. I don't know. I guess we see a lot of like these touristy shell pieces and... I don't know. They just don't tickle my fancy. My fancy has not been tickled. Here's a pair of studs. CZ, no doubt. Sterling, silver, and CZ studs. They're a nice size. Let's take a closer look at everything here. Uh, oh, there's that DQCZ. So we're, we're looking at the same maker as some of those rings. I'm thinking with the having seen it so many times now that we're going to be able to find something about DQ China CZ jewelry, something other than Dairy Queen. Let's just get this guy in there too. Boop. Nice. That'll work. Okay. We're going into a bag here now. Got some multi-strand bead necklaces which are kind of my one of my favorite things <laughs> I don't know I'm very drawn to these types of necklaces and I don't always wear them but I think they're awesome look at all of those beads look at them all they're this beautiful light blue sort of a periwinkle almost Look at that. Let's get a little close up on the on them. Really pretty. 
glass beads and how many strands is that i don't know a hundred one hundred strands of bees oh it's like you brought the best rain go ahead and cover that flower up but yes those are so pretty and so you can give them a twist or or let them hang as they will a twist looks really nice i find um but those those are beautiful beads I've, i love these multi-strand i haven't even looked at the class but i got too excited about the beads it's just like an s hook or not s hook but a hook nonetheless love that love that this guy needs a new home now how about just right in there can you get right in there bud hey bud <sighs> Sure, that works. Nice. That looks great. Okay, then there's another one. The bale is different on this one. And, uh, or bale, whatever, where it attaches is different. And the color is a purple. We have purple now, like an iridescent mixture. It looks like a very similar length, a bit longer even. Yeah, a bit longer. Many, 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 many strands. And they're so small, the beads. I'm just getting closer to the light because there is a hang tag on this one. It says Nolan Miller. Miller. Let's get closer to the beads, too, to have a better look at them. Ooh, they're so nice, hey? Really pretty colors and iridescence. So much work goes into these. Um... And I like how, like, some of them, this strand here has lots of the little, like, the bigger square beads. I don't know if it's, like, as random as I think it is or not, or if people are actually making choices. But uh, I know there's, like, those spinner machines where it just, you just put your string in the end into this spinning bowl of beads, essentially, right? Okay. There we go. That could be how these ones are made, but I don't know for sure. And I don't care because I still just love them. All right. Now I need to find another bag. Here's one. <laughs> See what else we can get in here. Oh, goodness gracious. More rings. Oh, no. Oh no, we're going to have to, we'll save the rings. We'll save the rings for another episode. Here's a pair of earrings. Let's get those out. Hmm. These are pretty cool. Kind of a silver spike with a square cut CZ mounted on it. I guess that's what I'm getting out of it <laughs> and uh, but I like the simplicity of them they need to be cleaned let's see the back they have a open back to the gem which is nice Ooh, some crud in there maybe looking at the back here to see if there's 925 mark on the back so yeah those are going to be sterling silver and CZ. We'll just double check the back of this one to see if there's any info for us. And there is not. That's fine. Just lay you guys right on the blue. There we go. Okay. Um, next up. Oh my, okay. Rings, 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 rings. We're going to have to get into rings again next episode, and that's totally fine by me. <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't mind if we see more rings. Here's a little pendant, a little cute silver tone CZ pendant. It's just, just tiny little guy. But that cage design helps keep it away from your skin so that it can catch all of the light and sparkle 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 and that's what counts isn't it 
<laughs> the sparkle. Okay. What do we have here? Another pendant, it looks like. Another silver pendant. It's an animal. Use your intuition now. <laughs> intuition test. What animal is the pendant? You got it? You know what it is? Bird. Sparrow, perhaps? It's kind of like bird fish. Is that a flying fish? Like, it's that's a long body with a weird fishy looking tail for a bird, right? Is that a flying fish? Oh my god. No. It's got a beak, Michelle. I don't know. But, uh, what animal did you guess? Did you guess fish bird? Bird, bird or bird fish? It says Sterling 925 on it. And there it is. Cute. Love a creature. Love love all the creatures. Now, we're going to have uh, some charms, I think, we'll do. Because uh, things seem to be landing nicely into these beads. And I've got a couple bags of charms coming out of here. So, let's do that. Clang, clang, clang. Okay, here's the first one. It's another animal. Should we do another intuition test? What animal is it? A dog, you say? Yes, but what breed? Ah, uh, looks like a pointer or spaniel, springer spaniel. He's cute. Zoom in here. Nice. I've got a customer that's looking to make a um, stir making a Monopoly game and wants gold or silver charms to to make all the pieces. So we're kind of on the lookout for things that would work for them on that super cute idea. Um, there is a little baby carriage, sterling silver baby carriage. <clears throat> and here is a 25. Yes, indeed. That is a 25. For what, 25th anniversary or 25th birthday? There's a hockey guy. Hey, hockey guy. And there's the back. There is a maker's mark there. I have yet to find one online. There's just so many, like, little silver charms out in the world. It's hard to find so i know the guy asked for a guitar but here i have uh, a bass or a cello perhaps or a violin i suppose there's no representation of string on it though oh yeah it's a violin look there's the chin rest hmm i don't know if that would work for him for that purpose but i'll keep it in mind here's a little scissors and comb we've got a few scissors and comb uh, gold pendants in the store for hairdressers. There's a little cowboy boot with a spur. It does not spin. No spinning. Does it stand? Oh, she does. Here's a pair of skates. I like that they're attached to each other. And does it say something there? STG and something. Yeah, a pair of skates. Here is Dalla Dalla Bill. <laughs> Just a dollar sign. How baller. And here's a pair of baby shoes with little pearls. That's actually kind of creepy because the shoes like cut away. <laughs> but the pearl is cute. There is the stamp on it. Oh, this is nice. Look at this one. A little piano. It's even got a little sheet music sitting on there. I like that one. Oh, same uh, symbol as the baby shoes. That little symbol is quite clear on the piano. That's nice to, to have for research. It looks 
It looks like a cat. Hey, like a kitty cat head and hmm. I don't know, but I love that little piano. You can go over here. Hmm. There is an airplane. Stir. And that's the top side of it, of course. Airplane and slot machine. Is it actually go? Yep. Oh my god, it spins good in there. Look at and it's got all the what you win. <laughs> yep, she spins. And that says Creaster. A lot of cute detail on it though. A little pearl on the handle. Though that's you can see the glue is kind of poor that way, but anyway. I do like that. Okay, another bag. We'll do a couple more. And then uh well let's just go through these quickly and then we'll call it a video. Alright, I have one, two, three. One, two, three. Traps, fishing traps, lobster traps, if you will. Very cute. One, two, three. I've got a space shuttle. There is an I love you with a cupid. And a goat for Aries. And that must be a sapphire in there. Zodiac. And a snowflake. Right now around here, nobody wants to see that. We're so sick of the snow. Uh, here's another Zodiac one. And this is great. I've had people looking for Zodiac and we don't have anything in the store. But there's a Libra. It looks like a piece of turquoise there. But I don't recall turquoise being one of my birthstones. And here's another airplane, smaller than the other one we brought out. But they can go together here, maybe. And another pair of scissors for a hairdresser. Here's another charm that says, Happy Birthday! This is a nurse, registered nurse symbol. I've learned that it's actually... Like, um, not necessarily a symbol for nurses specifically, but for the medical field in general. Two snakes and a dagger. Uh, I can't remember anything more about it, but there was more. Here is this spinner one that says, I love you. When you spin it fast. Let's see if I can swing this. Yeah, that kind of worked. I love you. Okay. Interactive. Wow. Here's the theater masks. This is a good one. Here's a playing cards. Ace is uh what that's a royal flush, right? Mm -hmm. And here's some flip flops. Oh, here's a little beetle. Vroom, vroom. That might be good for the, <laughs> the Monopoly board. Here's another little trap, but this one's got something inside. What are you? Oh, it's a little lobster. I don't know what it's made of. It might be made of carnelian. That would make sense to me. And here's a little crown with a glass bead. I'm assuming glass. And there's other colors all around the base of the crown, so that's really pretty. Very pretty. And another. This is for the Winnipeg Prospice? What? Prospice? What? Winnipeg Prospice. I thought that was going to be like RCMP or something, but no. 
And here's the last one. So cute. It's a bee. A little bee. Aw, that is nice. I like that. Good detail on him. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at all those charms filling up our scenery today. That's going to be everything for today. There are some priority items here. Um, let's see, like anything that said gold or red diamond, obviously. Um, the charms, we sell a lot of charms here in the store, so I'll be assessing them to go just into the showcase here uh, for the most part. And yeah, some other things for, for in a lot. Um, but there's some good stuff here too. And we got to figure out what animal this is. Leave a comment. Is this, I mean, it's definitely bird, but it also looks definitely fish. So whatever. We'll see. <laughs> see what you think. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, click subscribe so we can hang out again and do this some more. If you click the bell icon beside the subscribe button, that's going to notify you every time I upload a video, which I'm shooting for every Sunday right now. So hopefully we can hang out again soon and I'll talk to you then.